your house with all the rain, she says. Yeah, <laughs> I can appreciate the ant, the, getting rid of the ants, but the bacteria is the one. Would You're it not, stop the ants? Yeah, it will. They, yeah. It would. Yeah. Oh. They won't cross the line on it. We've had weevils. Uh, we, we have a pond, and we had some fish food in the cupboard, and weevils go, was in it. And there was a square that the, uh, the housekeeper cleaned this one square on a tile in the kitchen. And the weevils crawled on that, and they all died because of the <laughs> pH. So she did a test, an interesting test. She took a bowl, and she put weevils in an untreated one and treated the other bowl, and the weevils all died in the one that was treated. It's an interesting product because it doesn't do any harm to the environment. It can't hurt anything. It doesn't hurt plants. Anything green, it won't hurt. And just this year, you, Al, got the Nano Award from NASA yeah. in 08. That's correct. We also got the... They gave you a National Nano Award from National Aeronautics and Space Administration. I'm you, very proud of that, too. You're proud of it, but you didn't go to collect the award. No, I didn't, because I don't like traveling like I used to. Oh, why did you go all the way to Florida, huh? Uh, no, it was actually in uh, Boston. Boston. Yeah. They, uh, Did they you met. send somebody in your Oh, name? yeah. I sent, I sent uh, uh, from my, uh, my company in Canada. Okay. Uh, they went to it. It was very interesting, and I got pictures and reports on it. So you're proud of it, but you, you just didn't like the long time. Hey, I'm, I'm supposed to go to a board meeting in, uh, in uh, January. It's so cold in Canada. <laughs> Well, you run the company. Why don't you move the board meeting down to? Uh, I considered it, but it would cost Orlando. about thirty-five thousand dollars. These guys don't tarot cheap. <laughs> ah, that's true. Right. So, uh, being being uh, who I am in this day and age, I, in fact, I just sent a memo to them. We have to be very careful about money in the next two years. We need survival money because we God knows what's going to happen. Yeah, in the we're next going two into years. a serious depression. So uh, I, I told them, uh, and this company has grown by twice as much. Uh, from uh, last year, uh, we we did uh, nearly five million this year, and next year we expect to do about eleven. In this kind of economy, to have that kind of growth is quite remarkable. It's all because the product is wonderful, and people find out about it and they tell their neighbors. Uh, Concrobian is quite a quite a thing. Now, this new product that I developed for uh, air quality, it'll make such a difference. In uh, Manny's wife uh, has been sick for a long period of time. We've we eliminated a lot of her health problems. Uh, I have somebody here that uh, daughter was very sick with uh, asthma and bronchitis. Uh, they no longer feel sick in their home. Well, that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. And it's done uh, simply and easily. You don't have to move out of the house. Uh, you, uh, do, you do you have that in your brochures that you won the NASA Nano Award? That's uh, it's, on a, it's on my website, uh, Simon's website, yeah. Huh. Uh, we also won uh, Good Housekeeping Seal. Uh, it, in fact, it was the highest rated product that Good Housekeeping Seal ever had. Uh, we won uh, the safest new uh, uh, green product for 2007. Uh, I forgot who gave me the award. We won five awards in the last two years. Interesting. And uh, it's very similar in chemistry, only this, this is uh, designed for uh, anesthetic nature. Uh, it's totally green. Um, it has no, no side effects to anything. Do you think some of the mold, in, in, uh, especially the black mold, uh, could be a precursor for cancer? I'll tell you, I've, done, I've, I've gone to Mississippi and did a lot of research in, uh, with all the mold that they've created over there since Katrina. I actually believe that the southern people have lived with mold for so many years that it's called, you know how people talk slower and think slower there? <laughs> I really believe it's because their schools are so full of mold and they've used so many products over the years that they gave up. They literally live with mold as part of their companionship, so to speak. Yeah. And the most important thing about that is mold is terrible. It's insidious. It can grow in your brains. It can grow behind your eyes. It can grow in, in, uh, in your kidney. Uh, kidney failure is attributed to mold growth. Well, cancer, cancer, as I understand it, and I'm, I'm an environmentalist. My degree is in environmental science, Elm. So I can comprehend a lot of what you're saying and... I know that cancer is a reaction. It's a body's reaction to some kind of invader, and then it goes crazy. Yeah, everybody has cancer cells in their body. The That's body right. contains all the time. it. We all have cancer cells, and it is true there is a triggering me triggering mechanism that takes place. Um, I'm doing a lot of research right now. I, I, I wasn't going to bring this up, but I'm doing research in uh, in Africa in three countries with, no, with a number of doctors and some of the products I've developed for that reason. But uh, I wasn't here to talk about that. I want to talk about air quality. Cancer cancer is uh, part of the issue that uh, 
uh, comes up with mold. It comes up uh, with a lot of things. Uh, a lot of researchers that I work with tell me that every illness we have today is bacteria or viral or, uh, or, uh, or mold. Hmm. Uh, when you have kidney failure, 90% of kidney failure is, is uh, actually mold growing in the kidney and stopping it up. Wow. And that's part of the issue. We're living in a times where we're creating more and more bugs that are totally incapable of being destroyed with what we have. And that's why we're using well, poison. I know that's a fact. I, I mean, I still read my environmental magazines. What you're saying is absolutely true. And we know it's also true in medicine. Uh, I know guys that went to Vietnam, uh, there were guys that were not allowed to come home because they'd caught the incurable clap, they called it. They had tetracycline, didn't knock it out. They had nothing that could knock out this one variety of the clap, a venereal STD. So, so what do you do, leave them there to die? No, they shipped them off to Japan to be isolated and die there. That's what happened to those vets. Well, we've come to the end of our show. I want to thank you, Al, for being here. It's my pleasure, and, sir. And sharing this. I hope you people look up that website. I'm William Wagner. We're going to close out this session. You'll catch parts of this on the Internet by Saturday night. You can just go to William Wagner on YouTube, and you'll find parts of this already viewable if you want to see it again. We're going to go to Manny Mestez, who takes us out. Thanks for being with us. It's totally green. Um, it has no no side effects to anything. 